What is Jenkins Delete Dir? When you are using a static agent with a Jenkins controller, there are times when you might need to delete the files that were generated during a pipeline run. There are numerous ways to do this, but one of the most common ways is to use Delete Dir. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.3, and attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that has all of the examples that we're going to be taking a look at. Before we take a look at the jobs, let's take a look at the documentation for delete dir. What this allows us to do is recursively delete the current directory and its contents. So let's go over and take a look at our example from the gist. What we're going to be doing in the first stage is we're creating three files. We're going to run tree to take a look and see how those are laid out on the file system. Then we're going to run a delete dir and then run tree one more time to see what the outcome from delete dir was. So let's go over to our controller and take a look at the output from this first pipeline. So we'll go to test one and take a look at the output. And what we can see is we've created our three files. We run tree, we do our delete dir. And when we run tree a second time, all of the files have been deleted from this directory. And because of where we've run this, this is the root of our workspace on the agent. So at this point, all of the files at the root of the workspace recursively have been deleted. But what if we only want to delete files that are within a subdirectory? Imagine you have a Maven project and you've done your Maven clean package and you take a look and there is a target directory. And what you're wanting to do is you want to do a delete dir of the target directory. As we saw over in the documentation, all that we need to do to delete a specific directory is to wrap the delete dir in a dir step. So what does that look like? Let's take a look at our second example which looks very similar to the first example, except instead now for delete dir being just delete dir at the top, we're now saying in the directory target, run delete dir. So let's go back over to our controller and take a look at example two. And if we take a look at the output, we see that all of our files are created. We have three on the root and we have three in target. If we take a look at the output of tree, again, we see all six files. Then we do our delete dir, but then, what we see is we're in this directory for target. Delete dir is run. And then when we do the tree again, we can see that we just see the top level files, files one, two, and three, and the target directory, which was available before, has now been deleted. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter, at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment. Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.